Hello. This video is about Lucy and Lucy's limousine. I'm here to show you the advantages of a, of a Lucy's limousine for the convenience of having a dog in the back and not between two people in the front. It uh, makes it a much more enjoyable ride for all three of us, I guarantee. So first of all, my star just sat down. Lucy. Yeah. This is Lucy. My wife Deanna and I moved here three and a half years ago. Here is the villages, Florida. We like it really well. It's, it's a great place to live. We're really lucky to be here. And everybody here has a house, more or less, and everybody here has a golf cart, more or less. And it seems like three quarters of us have a dog also. So after we got here, and after we acquired a golf cart, we realized that the front seat was, just wasn't big enough for the three of us. And so if we went on a longer ride, we had to leave Lucy home. And that just wasn't in the cart. So I started thinking about how to build something that would be easy in and out for the dog, and for us, for the dog, and uh, give us all a better ride. So this is what I came up with. Now, I'm going to put Lucy out of the cart now, and you can just uh, watch the exit as I do that. Lucy, come on, girl. Here you go. Come on. Don't you eat the grass. You saw how Lucy got out with no, no trouble and no lifting. And that's all because of the seat that's hinged to the to the strut going up to support the roof. Because of that, this this seat can go in and out. And it locks securely. I'm going to stop the camera now and reposition it. Okay. You saw how easy it was for Lucy to get in, get out of the Lucy's limousine. And that's because of this. The key to the whole thing is this hinged back seat. So this will only work on a golf cart that has a separate back to it. Some... Uh, quality seats have one solid back and, and it's one piece, the, the seat and the back, and it won't work for that. I'll shut the seat now and lock it. Now that lock in the back here and that hinge on the other side makes this secure, sturdy, and safe. Now I think I'll, I'll I think I'll I'll move the camera one more time, get you a better look at the back, and I'll I'll make this golf cart or dog bed into a golf cart. Okay, we're back, and just watch while I take this apart. It only takes a minute. I'm unfastening these clasps that are made from stainless steel. These hold these hold the, the stakes into the body and it makes everything really secure. On the inside of the of the stake bed, bed body, I have half hinges and these pins are received into these half hinges here to keep the, the thing uh, rigid all the way through from the top to the bottom and back to the front. And now with the other stainless steel hinges in the corner, I'll just fold this up and this you just store away if you're going golfing. While I'm here, 
I'll try to point out these latches or this latch. That's what holds the seat secure onto these iron, uh, uh, angle iron brackets that I fabricated. And they're attached to another fabricated piece of, uh, under the floor here that bolts directly into the frame using the same bolt pattern that the, that the, the basket assembly had when we bought this golf cart. I took the basket assembly off. Then I put this up like this. It's hinged with a stainless steel piano hinge beneath. And I pin the same back half hinge to another half that's bolted to the floor of the dog bed. And now you have a secure place to mount your golf bags and you're ready to go. Well, this is up like this. I want to point out that this is a brace that's bolted to the frame of the golf cart. And it originally, when it was built, or when these golf carts built, they're built in the frame. There's a place to put a trailer hitch. And this bolts right to that trailer hitch so it's in the frame solid. And this, that's bolted to this piece that supports this when it's down for a dog bed and also when it's down the steel piece here keeps this strong throughout right to left these straps came off the original golf cart uh configuration when it came off the market when we get when we bought it now this floor of this is all cherry it's strong durable and it weathers pretty well. It's coated with polyurethane spar varnish. Now, I'll take this down and put it back to where it was originally. All you have to do is take these two pins out and set this down. There's nothing to hold this down and keep it from rattling if you don't have the back of the bed on. It's just not necessary because uh, I always plan to have the stake body on it at all times. Now I line up the hinges in the bottom mortise and tendon. And then just and then just refasten the stainless steel latches. That's it. Now it's ready to go back to being a dog bed or a dog hauler or also another uh, another thing you can think of, one big dog, three or four small dogs. Uh, if you want to go shopping and, and pick up a big carton of toilet paper or 15 cases of pop or whatever, you can put it in here within reason. This isn't made for people. Lastly, this was part of the golf cart package when it came to me from Village's Golf Cart. And this goes down either over the golf bags or over the dog if it's raining. And it works pretty well. I'll just put this up here with one snap for now so I can keep on yakking. And I think that's about it for this demonstration. I would like to note that along these steel struts here, when, when the golf cart was purchased, it has these these plastic pieces. This isn't decoration, as I first thought. These are rain gutters. And so I had to find a way to keep the rain gutters to make it look nice and perform the way it's supposed to and drain the roof. 
because it's a big area just dripping all around the outside and and keep the strength and integrity of the dog bed so i'm i'm making this video in the village is the north the north end of the village is near nancy lopez restaurant and i just wanted to say that uh while i'm here that uh the villages is a, a just a, a great place we we had no idea when we moved here how, how large it was how friendly it was how clean it was it's it's just all in all it's just a, a wonderful place to live and we're really lucky that we kind of stumbled into it I'm here with my wife Deanna and my dog Lucy and if you want me to build one of these for you and you have to be able to, to bring the golf cart to me if to, to to install it uh, I'd be I'd be uh, well that's what I'm making the video for I want to see if I can make some of these for other people we sure like it that's all for now thank you for watching and that's it One more thing. While we were thinking about moving here, which wasn't very long, and before we stumbled into a house and bought it and sold our RV that we had parked outside the villages, we learned an awful lot about the villages from a, a YouTube channel called The Villages Newcomers. And Jerry and Linda are a couple that live, have lived here now a, about a year longer than, than we have. And they, they, if you watch their channel, you'll see all the stuff about the villages, about the pros and the cons, but it's mostly pros because they can't make it any other way. And what a great job they've done. And they've educated so many people and helped and encouraged people to move here. So if you have a chance, look them up. It, it's, it's an enjoyable uh, couple, couple hours every week. And he does a really good job. I didn't realize. How hard it was to make one of these things until I started and he makes it look.